Sounds good to me. He makes some beautiful flowers. Yeah, I, my wife is the best that ever did this, but uh, she passed away on the 18th of December. I'm sorry to hear that. So what I'm really doing is just, actually, I'm carrying on her legacy, but she couldn't, you know what, though? She couldn't teach me how to make it. Oh, really? Because she didn't have the patience. Uh-huh. So I had to get this guy named Peanut who taught me how to make them. Really? And, uh, so I make them like Peanut taught me how to make them, but I make mine to look like hers, because she's she said she makes the perfect rose and people love a rose, you know? Okay. And right now, see, like I got that trinity. That trinity represents the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's nice. I got to braid it up now. Like I braid that one. One thing about them, they never die. You don't hear the Palm Sunday, I know. Of course, of but course. But I don't have to give you the history. You already know this. No, no, but, you know, but for those who don't know. I give them the history if they don't know, you know? Yeah, so, so tell but, me the history. Well. The history on these here, see a lot of folks, it has a lot to do with Georgia, but the real, real history on it, on these things right here, the word of God, okay? The reason why they never die is because Jesus walked on his palm leaves. And whether he knew it or not, when he walked on them, he blessed them. So sometimes I have to go ahead and rephrase that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Right. And take them back to the understanding that I really do have on us, because I, have, I tell them people, you know, you have to look at it this way. I say, think about it. All those miracles that Jesus performed back in the day, right? Right. Now, how he not know he didn't bless this when he walked on everything else he touched, he blessed it. That's right. And there's a lot of things that he didn't touch. He just spoke in existence and it got blessed. That's right. So that's one of the reasons why these things never die. See? And a lot of people want to see them like somebody like crosses, you know, but they never see them in a rose and hearts and butterflies, you know, right? dragonflies, mm -hmm. lizards, grasshoppers. It's and just endless possibilities, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks tell me, say, that's a good skill you got in the trade. I don't call it that. I call it a gift from God. I know that's right. You know, that's exactly what I call it. And I know where mine come from. You know, even though I'm sitting out here trying to sell them, but I'm not really actually selling them. I'm just the vessel God got making them. Right. And, you know, people know good, good artwork and craft work when they see it. Right. And I don't, you know, I put like this in. I know where mine come from. And it's, you know, it's like it's, you, you bought one for me now. It's not me that's making you sell it. Buy it. Right. It, it, to me, it, it's just God putting it on your heart to buy one from you. Definitely. See, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, that's you know, true. I'm, you know, I ain't been, I'm, don't let nobody fool you now. See, I was brought up in the Word of God, but I ain't been all that in, in a bag of chips. Right. You know, because see, the word of God, you pull the hide in your heart, but Satan can't come in and steal it. And I, I, you know, I must have left myself open. Satan came in one day and he got me, you know. But you know what happened to me? What happened? I'm going to tell you what God did to me. He Say what now? Me, he showed me how I was nothing without him. Right. And when he showed me that, I got on my knees, repent, begged forgiveness, and he's been blessing me ever since. So let me see your face. Oh. Yeah, all that bending down. I realize you, <laughs> hey. I realize you're working. I want to interrupt you, but you've been holding your head down, working. Ain't, but people do it all the time. They love taking pictures of me making it, you know. And I love taking the, taking the pictures. You know, I'm about to, you know, the good Lord. He getting ready to bless me. I just I just was able to get myself on on e I mean, on, on Facebook. Right. So I just got a, got an email number. I, I have, but I haven't took the pictures of the work yet and put it on there. You know. Okay. Because you know, I, me and my wife, we used to do a lot of weddings, make a lot of stuff for weddings and stuff like that. We never got a chance to put it on on a computer so people could see it. Right. Now, I'm already there. I just got to get it on there now, you know? Okay. Once I get it on there, people can go to the website and they can see what's going on. Uh-huh. I can make it at home and ship it to them or whatever, you know? Right. Me and my, me and my wife work, I have left here in Savannah here and I went to Europe, England, France, Germany, all those places. Uh -huh. People come back five or six years later looking for us on a bench that we used to sit on but we can't sit on a day because the tents are up. Right. And looking for us five or six years later to come back and buy more and tell us how our work stood up. Wow. So, one thing about me and my wife, we guarantee our work. You know, and I take pride in it. I don't take too much pride in it because you can't over, you can't take too much pride in things because if you like the good Lord give it, he can take it. That's right. See, when you take too much pride, you forget where you got it from. So I don't get too much pride in it. I just try to make it the purpose that I can. Because I know that's what Jesus will do, you know? So tell me your name again. My name is James Massey. 
James Mathis, it's been definitely a pleasure talking to you. And brother, keep on doing some good work. I'm gonna try, man. The good Lord bless me, I will. Are uh, you here, brother? So thanks again, all right?